Libraries. Most suburbs have libraries for people to use. People can borrow books and look up information. They can also join book clubs, use computers, or attend special events. Libraries in suburbs may be large or small. A large suburb may have several libraries or one main library. Neighborhoods have smaller branch libraries close to where people live. Branch libraries share books and materials from the main library. Some libraries have special areas for children. Money and mail. Suburbs have banks to handle people's money. Most neighborhoods have at least one branch bank. People may do business inside a bank. They may also use a drive up window or ATM. People can use bank machines without getting out of their cars. Most neighborhoods have post offices too. People can mail letters and packages inside. Machines and workers sort the mail. Then letter carriers deliver it. Letter carriers drive or walk through neighborhoods to deliver the mail. Other places in a suburb. Suburbs need many different kinds of buildings. In a city hall, government leaders make plans and rules for the suburb. Some suburbs also have courts to deal with people who break laws. People meet here to make plans for a suburb's parks. Most suburbs have churches, temples, and other places of worship. There are also doctor's offices and hospitals. People can get care here when they are sick or hurt. Regular checkups can help people stay healthy. Having fun. Many suburbs have parks, ball fields, bike paths, and playgrounds. There may be concert halls where people can hear music. There are usually movie theaters too. Many people in suburbs like to play and relax in their own yards. Suburbs often have community centers with gyms, exercise machines, and fun things to do. People also travel to the city for plays, concerts, and sporting events. They may visit museums or zoos as well. A suburb's community center may have a pool for people to share. The suburb comes together. People in suburbs often work together. They collect food, clothing, and other items for those in need. They raise money and run special programs to help others. People may recycle or pick up trash to keep their neighborhoods clean. People in suburbs also have fun together. They may have parties, parades, and other special events. People share food, music, games, and fun. All these things make suburbs great places to live. People have fun getting to know each other at neighborhood parties. So here is the glossary, all the words and their meanings. And here are some more information, books to read.